lot of new innovative ideas and some that stood out was uh, some of the items that were deconstructed. So one of the most interesting was, was a twist on a Harvard beet cake where the student took beets, pureed them, added some fine chopped chocolate and baked it. So something that was as simple as a cupcake was really elevated to what I would even consider a first class option for a dessert. One recommendation was uh, as I have to prepare one meal like food to go, so I prepared this cupcake uh, made of uh, beetroot and uh, some spices like uh, cloves, uh, cinnamon, and on top is uh, uh, buttercream, vanilla, and some berries around. My menu is uh, for millennials. I make some uh, little research and uh, noticed that uh, young people want to eat healthy. I prepared the menu like this, and uh, also they want uh, that uh, they can show what they eat and uh, make some pictures and put it on the Instagram or the appetizer is like a quinoa bowl uh, with uh, shrimps and with uh, some uh, pickled vegetables. This is a, a chicken fillet uh, seared on a pan. Uh, underneath is uh, celery puree and uh, also some Swiss chard sauteed and some uh, vegetable fries. In front here we have an uh, appetizer, which is also um, supposed to be resembling uh, mushroom parcel, which is puff pastry usually stuffed with a mushroom duxel. You see them at all the banquets and parties and everything. This is a deconstructed version of that in a reimagination kind of in the same way. Instead of the puff pastry, we have flaxseed uh, crisps and mushrooms just, you know, uh, grilled a little bit with some olive oil and a little herb dressing and some semi-dried tomatoes. So for the main dish, we have a take on shrimp and grits, uh, creamy polenta on the bottom, uh, some chili shrimp, uh, some uh, chili purees. Uh, on, underneath, uh, underneath the shrimp, you'll also, there's also some Holy Trinity relish, which is carrots or celery, onions, and peppers. Um, a little bit that have just been pickled for a little bit. Uh, this is kind of a representation of all of those flavors from shrimp and grits: the spice, you know, the you know the heat from the chilies. This is a deconstructed version of an apple pie. Um, so you have in here some roasted apples that have just been seared lightly and then finished in the oven with some white wine and some sugar. Some uh, pavlas that have been torched, or pavlova, sorry. Uh, apple pu uh, puree on the bottom, uh, some apple gastrique, and then little tiny shortbread uh, crisps that have some sugar glazed around them. Kind of all the compounding flavors of an apple pie, you know, just completely away from each other. So when you take the bites, the full bite of it, it's reminiscent of apple pie, like your mom's apple pie. Well, something else that I liked was that they not only, you know, changed things, deconstructed things, but they also took something from one region and adopted it to another region. So something traditional like an Italian arancini, which is like a risotto ball that's breaded, it has like peas and ground beef in it, served with a marinara sauce. What he did was he did the same concept, but instead he put in braised short ribs, did a nice parsnip puree, so it really turned it into a comfort dish. So all the elements were the same, but he just went ahead and modified it so this way it had a completely different flavor profile, texture profile, and visual. So it was something that really stood out that I really put a lot of thought into it. The guidelines for the meal are for the Silver Society, which are people 60 and plus in age, and also, uh, we had to have one special meal, which was low sodium, which was a dessert for me. But for the appetizer, started out with a deconstructed short rib and risotto dish. So we have some fried arancinis on a parsnip puree with a carrot puree and peas. For the main course, we have a deconstructed chicken pot pie. So we have uh, two chicken mousses on top of polenta, served with a tarragon velouté and miscellaneous vegetables for carrots, mushrooms, and peas. For dessert, we have a deconstructed carrot cake with uh, no sodium in it, with a cilantro gelé and carrot sauce. 